In statistics, the Kendall-Rank correlation coefficient, commonly referred to as Kendall's tau coefficient, is a statistic used to measure the association between two measured quantities. A tau test is a non-parametric hypothesis test for statistical dependence based on the tau coefficient. It is a measure of rank correlation. The similarity of the orderings of the data when ranked by each of the quantities. It is named after Morris Kendall, who developed it in 1938, though Gustav Fechner had proposed a similar measure in the context of time series in 1897. Definition. Let be a set of observations of the joint random variables x and y respectively, such that all the values of an are unique. Any pair of observations and where are said to be concordant if the ranks for both elements agree. That is, if both she greater than xj and ye greater than yj or if both she less than xj and ye less than yj. They are said to be discordant, if she greater than xj and ye less than yj or if she less than xj and ye greater than yj. If she equals xj or ye equals yj, the pair is neither concordant nor discordant. The Kendall-Tau coefficient is defined as Properties The denominator is the total number of pair combinations, so the coefficient must be in the range minus 1 tau 1. If the agreement between the two rankings is perfect the coefficient has value 1. If the disagreement between the two rankings is perfect the coefficient has value minus 1. If x and y are independent, then we would expect the coefficient to be approximately 0. Hypothesis Test the Kendall rank coefficient is often used as a test statistic in a statistical hypothesis test to establish whether two variables may be regarded as statistically dependent. This test is non-parametric, as it does not rely on any assumptions on the distributions of x or y or the distribution of, and the null hypothesis of independence of x and y. The sampling distribution of tau has an expected value of zero. The precise distribution cannot be characterized in terms of common distributions, but may be calculated exactly for small samples. For larger samples, it is common to use an approximation to the normal distribution, with mean zero and variance. Accounting for ties. A pair is said to be tied if she equals xj or ye equals yj. A tied pair is neither concordant nor discordant. When tied pairs arise in the data, the coefficient may be modified in a number of ways to keep it in the range, minus 1, 1. Tower The tower statistic tests the strength of association of the cross tabulations. Both variables have to be ordinal. Tower will not make any adjustment for ties. It is defined as where nc, nd and n0 are defined as in the next section. Tau B The Tau B statistic, unlike Tau A, makes adjustments for ties. Values of Tau B range from minus 1 to plus 1. A value of 0 indicates the absence of association. The Kendall Tau B coefficient is defined as where Tau C Tau C differs from Tau B as in being more suitable for rectangular tables than for square tables. Significance tests when two quantities are statistically independent, the distribution of is not easily characterizable in terms of known distributions. However, for the following statistic, is approximately distributed as a standard normal when the variables are statistically independent. Thus, to test whether two variables are statistically dependent, one computes and finds the cumulative probability for a standard normal distribution at for a two-tailed test, multiply that number by 2 to obtain the p-value. If the p-value is below a given significance level, one rejects the null hypothesis that the quantities are statistically independent. Numerous adjustments should be added to when accounting for ties. The following statistic has the same distribution as the distribution, and is again approximately equal to a standard normal distribution when the quantities are statistically independent, where PV rank is a very recent TAR package that computes rank correlations and the p-values with various options for tied ranks. It is possible to compute exact Kendall coefficient test p-values for N60 algorithms. 
The direct computation of the numerator involves two nested iterations, as characterized by the following pseudocode. Numa equals 0 for i equals 2, n do for j equals 1. Do numa equals numa plus sign asterisk sign return numa. Although quick to implement, this algorithm is in complexity and becomes very slow on large samples. A more sophisticated algorithm built upon the merge sort algorithm can be used to compute the numerator in time. Begin by ordering your data points sorting by the first quantity, and secondarily by the second quantity. With this initial ordering, is not sorted, and the core of the algorithm consists of computing how many steps a bubble sort would take to sort this initial. Then the numerator for is computed as where is computed like and but with respect to the joint highs in in. A merge sort partitions the data to be sorted into two roughly equal halves and then sorts each half recursive and then merges the two sorted halves into a fully sorted vector. The number of bubble sort swaps is equal to where in are the sorted versions of an and characterizes the bubble sort swap equivalent for a merge operation is computed as depicted in the following pseudocode. Function mi equals 1 j equals 1 n swaps equals 0 while i less than equals n and j less than equals m do if r j less than l i then n swaps equals n swaps plus n i plus 1 j equals j plus 1 else i equals i plus 1 return. N swaps a side effect of the above steps is that you end up with both a sorted version of an assorted version of. With these, the factors and used to compute are easily obtained in a single linear time pass through the sorted arrays. A second algorithm with time complexity, based on AVL trees, was devised by David Christensen. Yet another algorithm for time complexity was proposed more recently, 